Every day, millions of people around the world consume soy milk as a nutritious and dairy-free alternative. It's a staple in many diets, providing essential nutrients and offering a versatile option for those with lactose intolerance or following a plant-based lifestyle. It's not milk, but it's a good substitute. A soy beverage is a liquid legume made from soybeans. It has the look and consistency of animal milk, but it's an entirely different product. It starts with a specific kind of soybean, one that has just the right amount of protein and carbohydrate. They harvest it when the plants are dry. Less moisture means the beans will be less prone to spoiling. They then de-halt the soybeans and crack them into small bits. A lift carries the heavy bag of bean bits to a scale to measure them for processing. The operator then cuts open the bottom of the bag, releasing the cracked soybeans into a hopper. From here, augers move the cracked beans up to two large grinders. The system pipes in hot water, and the grinders whip the beans and water into a creamy soy beverage concentrate. The beverage then courses through steam-heated pipes, cooking it and killing off bacteria that may have come from the field. After that, it's into a vacuum chamber for a cool-down. Most of the manufacturing equipment is sealed from the air to prevent contamination. After the vacuum chamber, the soy beverage concentrate enters a centrifuge. It spins out much of the chunky, insoluble fiber, leaking smoother, thinner liquid. The soybean fiber won't be wasted, it will be used in food products and animal feed. The soy liquid flows into a big blender, and they pike in filtered water. A worker adds refined sugar, vanilla extract, as well as various vitamins and minerals. He closes the lid while the blender mixes the ingredients into a frothy soy beverage. The soy beverage exits the blender and flows into a huge storage tank where an agitator maintains the suspension of the various ingredients to keep them well mixed. The tank is also refrigerated to preserve the beverage while it's held for testing. The operator takes a sample and measures the solids to determine if the consistency and the nutritional value of the beverage are on target. With his approval, the beverage is released from the tanks. It flows through pipes injected with very hot steam, which kills off any remaining microorganisms. After a quick cooling, the soy beverage goes into a homogenizer. It pushes the beverage through small holes to break down the fat, reducing the size of the particles. The soy beverage then accumulates in a sterile tank until they're ready to package it. With special equipment, the soy beverages can be packaged without any exposure to contaminants in the environment. The packaging material is a paperboard made of polyethylene laminate. Machinery takes it up to a steel ring that forms it into a tubular shape. Hot jaws seal the sides and the bottoms, then inject the soy beverage and seal the tops. The cartons land on the conveyor on their sides. They're liquid tight at this point, so nothing spills. The conveyor delivers them to a revolving wheel that turns them right side up. Now oriented correctly, they ride a winding conveyor to a capping station. Here, plastic caps land on the spouts that have been molded into the packages. A system of rubber belts screws the caps onto the spouts. This system of packaging preserves soy beverages for up to a year, but of course, it may not be on the shelf for long because someone is always looking for a dietary alternative.